Welcome to our video. This is the fourth in a series of videos on invisibility cloaks. Did you know we invented the invisibility cloak? It's true, and we've got the patent on it. Not only did we invent it, we made it thin, wideband, workable in all directions, and high fidelity. We even cloaked the first person ever and published in a peer-reviewed journal. We've given live cloak demos in front of thousands of people, including the Radio Club of America, Dayton Hamvention, Yale University, and almost a half dozen IEEE societies. There's even a TED Talk that shows our stuff. It's real, it's realized, and it's here to stay. So let's have some fun with it. What we're going to show you is a demo built around the old saying, you make a better door than a window. With an invisibility cloak, you can switch, making an obstruction invisible just by accessing a thin cloak of fractal metamaterials that slipstream the microwaves around an obstruction. These fractal metamaterials are doily-like patterns of broadband resonators built uniquely from fractals. There's no power or parts, and certainly no mirrors or magicians. It's just good, solid physics and 50 years of knowledge from your friendly narrator. But enough of that, on with the show. So what we have is a network analyzer, which you can see in the left of this pan shot. The network analyzer shows the intensity between two directional antennas at cell phone frequencies from 800 to 900 megahertz. The steps are 5 dB, and the direct path is normalized at 0 dB intensity. Any obstruction will cut down that intensity, depending on how much is blocked. Just as with a flashlight beam, the size of the obstruction decides how much is blocked. Our door is kind of small, so when we can see it in action, it obstructs about 70% of the intensity, or it brings it down by minus 5 dB. The objective of this demo is to show that slipping a cloak onto this door will virtually restore the intensity as if there is no obstruction at all. Let's see. Here's the placement of the door. Watch the spectrum fall by 5 dB as we take off the hold button on the network analyzer. Then we remove the door and you can see the spectrum go back to normal. And then the door again. It's time now to switch from the door to the window with the invisibility cloak put on the door. You can see the cloak is thin and flexible. We put the cloak covered door back in place and then take off the hole button. Now watch. The intensity goes back to normal, as if the door isn't there. Here it is again. What happens when you just coat the door with foil covering? Does that slipstream the microwaves? In other words, let's show a control for this experiment. Well, here's the door back in place, and then a foil wrap slipped on. It looks like it actually enhances the instruction a little bit rather than removes it. In other words, the cloak does something unique. We hope you enjoyed this video on the wind door. And we're looking forward to showing you other videos from Fractal Antenna Systems.